This is the new 12 South Hi-Rise 3 Deluxe. It's a three-in-one MagSafe charger with full 15 watt charging for MagSafe on your phone, fast charging for your Apple Watch, and then seven and a half watt Qi charger for your AirPods on the back. You might have recognized another 12 South stand from Apple's keynote where it first showed off standby mode. So we're gonna show you how standby works with the new Hi-Rise 3 Deluxe and also compare it to the Belkin 3-in-1 Boost Charge Pro on the right and the Anchor 3-in-1 Cube on the left. But most of all, I wanna tell you about the design of this product. So let's jump into it. First of all, the Hi-Rise 3 Deluxe is the first MagSafe charger to actually cover the MagSafe puck with a leather. This is vegan leather. Let me say it again for Apple in the back. Vegan leather, and it feels great. And there's also vegan leather on the base of the charger as well. All of this is vegan leather, not leather, vegan leather. A few things I love about the design. The Apple Watch charging puck can either lay flat or come up, which is really helpful if you have a band like the Solo Loop, which wouldn't allow it to lay flat. Spacious room for your AirPods to charge in the back. And the puck that holds your phone is actually tilting. So you can tilt this pretty far up, not exactly a full 90 degrees, not perfectly perpendicular. I know some people were asking how far down does it go? That's how far down it will angle. And then that's how far up. And this pole right here is unmoving, so pretty stationary. Now, ever since the iPhone 12 when MagSafe came out, I've been a Belkin 3-in-1 charger, and this is the Boost Charge Pro with Apple Watch Fast Charging. I call it the tree charger because, you know, it looks like a tree. But I've loved this thing. You can charge your iPhone here, Apple Watch here, and AirPods down here. But as you can see, while the footprint of the base not be very different, when you have the iPhone charger sticking out on this side, Apple Watch on this side, it takes up just more area on a nightstand. And then especially if you put your phone in nightstand mode, it's gonna be coming way over to the side as opposed to the Hi-Rise 3 Deluxe. Also, the Belkin 3-in-1 does not have a pivoting iPhone charger or Apple Watch charger. And strangely, when I've been charging my Apple Watch Ultra on the Belkin, it does this kind of turn thing. I don't know if it's the weight of the Ultra or what, but it just does not stay upright. Even if I try to place it like that, it just leans over. And again, once you have all your devices charging on the Belkin 3-in-1, it just takes up a lot of surface area, whereas the Hi-Rise 3 Deluxe, it's just a very compact charging. You can place your watch, place your phone, and place your AirPods, and everything's charging right there in a row. Now, I have been enjoying this Anchor 3-in-1 Cube, especially when traveling. It's compact, it folds into a literal cube, Apple Watch charger just slides into the side, and this is Apple Watch fast charging, and of course, 15-watt iPhone charging. And if you do wanna use this on a nightstand or by your bed, standby mode does enable with this Anchor 3-in-1 Cube. And if you just want the most compact charging possible, the Cube may be the answer, although if you have a band like this, I actually have to unclasp it, because it doesn't lay flat enough when it's clasped in the loop. While I still think the Belkin 3-in-1 tree charger is really good and maybe you want it more spread out, taking up more surface area on a nightstand, I do really love the compact nature of this Hi-Rise 3 Deluxe and it still gives me the Apple Watch fast charging and AirPods. And let's talk about standby mode just for a second. This is one of the coolest new features on iOS 17 and standby is enabled on this Hi-Rise 3 at any angle. You can get it pretty far down and even pretty far up where even my overhead camera can have a nice shot of that. If you haven't used standby mode, highly recommend you can have one or two widgets. Lots of apps are updating for iOS 17 as well, adding new widgets all the time. Fantastical already has their widgets updated for standby mode, so you can see your next event or the full month view. And underscore David Smith has also updated Widget Smith to have widgets right here in standby. You could tap one, choose one of the widgets you've already have set, and you can have your Widget Smith widgets right here in standby. Now, one of the reasons I was excited for standby mode was smart home controls and HomeKit. And so I have a widget here with some of my home devices, but the problem is I don't see all of my scenes. If I disable recommended, then you can add specific items or scenes, and I have a good night scene, but for some reason when I search for it, it just doesn't come up. I imagine this has to be an iOS 17 bug, but I hope it's fixed. Otherwise you can search for a room scene. I also find that it does that a lot where I'm about to add something into the widget and it just quits out and goes back to this setting. I thought this was maybe the motion setting for standby, but I went to the standby settings here in the app and for night mode, I disabled motion to wake and it still kicks me out while I'm editing the widget. So again, I think this is just a bug. Hope it gets fixed in the next 17 update. But overall, when it comes to standby mode, putting it at an angle you want and vegan leather, this Hi-Rise 3 Deluxe has been pretty sweet. So looking at the different MagSafe chargers, which should you get? Again, the Boost Charge Pro from Belkin has been one of my favorites, the three-in-one tree charger, as I say, and I still think it's great but I do like the ability to adjust the angle, especially now that we have standby mode in iOS 17. Both of these chargers are $150. You can pre-order the Hi-Rise 3 Deluxe on their website, and you can get the Belkin 3-in-1 lots of different places. The Belkin does come in white and black, and I do really like the white color. I do kind of wish the Hi-Rise 3 came in white. Their previous stand, which actually showed up in the WWDC keynote, was in white, so maybe they'll release an option later, but for right now, it's black only. But honestly, it looks great, and this tilting, 
vegan leather MagSafe puck is pretty sweet. So I'll be going with this on my nightstand, probably using the tree charger here on the desk. But let me know what you think in the comments. Do you have another favorite 3-in-1 MagSafe charger? Or are you waiting for Qi 2? I did a whole video on Qi 2 that's coming soon, and that's probably why Apple killed the MagSafe Duo and MagSafe Battery Pack. You can check that video out above or the link in the description. And let me know what has been your favorite iOS 17 feature. I have lots of videos on some hidden iOS 17 features and iPadOS and tvOS features as well. You can check out those videos down in the description. And before you go, you should check out one of these videos over here. I think you'll like it.